you saw the surprise. Yeah, huh? I think we all made that look, huh? Yeah, then we are we are not getting the mutual today. It's gotta be Roy Diddy Kong, uh, of course. Yeah, and at the worst you might see Ike Diddy Kong, but for the most part. Or Ike you know, I know that uh, Aaron also has some other characters. He had a Steve for a bit, he had a Rob. But I think he's really been dedicating his time to uh, this Diddy Kong, so. Yes, and as you should, honestly, this character has been up and coming in the meta. I think ever since Tweak started solo maining the character, mm -hmm. people have been having more and more faith. And I believe Aaron solo maining the character now as well, so. See if you can make effective use of it. So far, finding a percent lead. Uh-oh. Yep. A big percent lead and also stage advantage here. The Manana is doing quite a bit. Aaron caught, caught swinging one more time. How's he going to make it back? Nice. Okay, getting over the ledge a little bit with uh, his up B. Yep. Goblin coming through, trying to find the back air over the ledge trap. This is where Roy usually makes the bed and bread and butter. Picks up the banana with the back air as well, but here comes the command grab. Plenty of extra damage there. 148 now into Goblin. Now it's time to see if Goblin is going to hit Ooh. the Goblin Classic. Careful. I like the re-grab, just reset the situation, take that damage, you can't find much more, but the back air is going to find it. Smart Goblin going up with that first stock, with the back air at 105. Yeah, man, and it's unfortunate for Aaron, though, because obviously he did have the uh, the percent advantage, but he had just not been able to find that last uh, hit just yet now. He's got the setup for it, he's got a banana in hand, you know, potentially a down tilt, maybe a down tilt back air. Oh, okay, banana up tilt works too, nice. Yeah, why not, why not? Why shouldn't that work? The banana gives you so much room for creativity, I believe, mm -hmm. with with all the confirms and different options you can find, especially because Diddy has so many good moves, honestly. I can't think of a move that Diddy has that's bad, besides maybe the peanut gun. Yeah, and even then, I feel like, you know, it's got in, its in the right situation, yeah. It has its uses. So, oh. Okay, down tilt, shield pressure from Goblin. It's the name of the game from Royo. You cannot roll in there versus Goblin. He certainly would have found the stock in the upbeat. Out of the corner is a classic. Able to find the connection on the F-Tilt as well. Good stuff from Goblin, but Banahan in hand as well. His advantages are racking up right now. Yeah, I think this is uh, looking kind of crazy how the way that it feels like Aaron has been pretty in control of the stage, but Goblin's been able to uh, maximize his hits into, yeah. uh, well, I guess the efficiency of stocks. He's taking yes. stocks at a very, very low percentage mm -hmm. in comparison to uh, Aaron right now. The kill pressure from Goblin is just ridiculous. Mm -hmm. He's such a threat, especially when he has stage control. Finding plenty of percentage with that up B, 127. There we go, down to the up smash, though. Just barely going to do it for Aaron. And only 50% tacked on. Not too shabby, but let's see what we can get for last stock here. Uh -oh. Okay. 26. Not too shabby. Monkey kicking right on through. Just back and forth. Goblin dash dance in the corner. Actually over committing there. Thought maybe Aaron would sit and shield or commit to some sort of option. Aaron not giving it away. And here comes Aaron with Ooh. the advantage state. Quick 60%. Not too bad. The banana in hand as well. Gets the tech chase. Can't find much more though. Reset to neutral now. Yeah, that's unfortunate too because I feel like he could have turned that into a crazy amount of damage. But no, now he's back onto the... Ooh! You live, you live. Okay. Yes. Not the, set, not the next one though, for sure. You get hit in that same situation, it's mm -hmm. over. Yep. Aaron finding himself with a percent lead, though, comes through with the monkey flip. The tech chase, not going to find the strong hit, but the back air. Goblin giving away the air dodge. Does he still have his jump? Yes, he does. Able to make his way back. Uh-oh. And now Aaron, because he didn't try to go all the way out there, I feel like that might have been the play. Oh! oh! Yes, sir. The up smash comes through for Aaron and finding game one. And honestly, rightfully so, I believe that Aaron was up. Most of the time, Goblin just had such kill pressure the entire time, able to find those early stocks. But Aaron clutching it out with the neutral wins and finds that final connection. Yeah, I feel like Goblin pretty much he uh, was able to find the last the, the stocks first, mm -hmm. but he definitely wasn't on receiving it. Like I feel like yes. Aaron was setting the pace way more often than uh, Goblin was. Goblin just his straight hit power from Roy was uh, a lot stronger than Diddy Kong's, and he, it really carried him. To a uh, almost last, well, last not last hit situation, but just yes. not enough for the game yet. Very, very true, TK. But dash attack immediately from Goblin. A quick 30% after the down tilt as well. Picks up the banana. Can't use it, though, because Aaron's coming through with the advantage state. Ooh. Okay. What's up? Gets a, gets a quick monkey uh, flip in there. Another one. Mm -hmm. Little command grab action. Getting that nice damage for Goblin now. Trying to fire back. Seems like a... Florida really likes the stage, huh? Yeah. We've been seeing the stage a lot, too. It's been PS2 into <laughs> Hollow Bastion <Yep>. for <laughs> both sets so far, I think. The, but the combination, yeah. Oh, ooh. Watch yourself. Yep, double down tilt from Aaron. Not able to find the connection. Nice carry from Goblin. Gets the drop down. 
up air. Looking for an edge guard. Goes all the way up Jesus there. Christ. We're not ready for the tech, and the recovery is not good enough. That's why Roy sucks, TK. Yeah, well, you know, if there's <laughs> one reason. If there's one reason a lot of these characters have a hard time, it's because there's certain characters that can fly all the way from the blast zone to wherever they want to be, and then there's characters like Roy. Oh, where are we going? <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah, where, where are we dropping to? Okay, jabbed it back here. Not going to find the connection, though. Did he call just a little bit too far to the left for that to be able to sweep? Banana gameplay happening back and forth. We were just playing catch with each other. Nice. Okay, uh, banana as well. Goblin once again utilizing that uppy to get out of the corner. See that time and time again from him. Looking for the down air. He actually had the right read on the tech chase, but couldn't quite find it. And then unfortunately, the backer's not going to sweep once again, but great damage there. Not going to be enough to kill the stock. I was yet. ready to say, okay, managed to clip him right there with the banana. But yeah, no, that's still good damage. And okay, actually sliding up the platform, looking for the barrel technician action, but no, only taking that, F, uh, that dash attack from yeah. Goblin. We were seeing like a bit of Marthitis there, like they call it in melee, but it's, instead of Marth, it's Roy. Mm -hmm. he, he, start, he's, he gets out of jab percentage. You can't find the back air anymore because he's just at too high a percent. He goes way too far. So I thought maybe Goblin might have a little bit more trouble finding this stock, but he's certainly not having trouble finding all this percent in stock two. And we could actually see Goblin take the stock first if he plays his cards right. Yeah, I mean, he's got the damage. Here we go. Trying to get a little closer to the blast zone. Goblin there maybe trying. Go. Oh, yeah, unfortunately, landing on that shield. Not in a good way. Good stuff to uh, Aaron. I think that's one of the things about Aaron's too when it comes to Diddy Kong. He's more willing to just pull the trigger on an up smash out of shield instead of trying to set up on it all the time. Sometimes you just have a good time to up smash out of shield. Just do it. Very true. It's, it's pretty fast as well. Mm -hmm. Aaron looking for some extra credit here. Still has another stock to play with. Weak hit of jab, and he is going to react to it. Finds the upper, but it's not enough to kill just yet. Maybe an up smash, maybe a back air or something would have killed just then. But Aaron with a second lease on life. The up out of the corner is not going to be enough. Good DI from Aaron holding out and away on that. Let's make the way back, though. Okay. Nice parry, the up B once again, that blazer will find its mark onto Aaron and 24% tacked onto Goblin. It's basically even here, TK. Yeah, it's kind of crazy too, the way that uh, we're getting pretty much the same game where I feel like Goblin has been uh, struggling like on the back foot, but he's always managed to like kind of fight his way back in to at least mm -hmm. finding a stock at a reasonable time. Right now, hasn't been able to find a single hit yet until just there. 17 off of 40 is kind of crazy. Oh, wait, no, he hit a banana. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, Ooh the F smash. It wasn't going to delete the stock, but usually when you see Roy F smash, you just expect the stock to be gone. Yeah. He was only at 20%, though, so we are safe for now. 108 on the Goblin here. Has uh -oh. the advantage state, though. Man, that banana, definitely necessary. Because mm -hmm. that could have been a real bad situation. I think he lost his jump in there. Juke. Okay, couldn't get the up smash uh, to rip. Wasn't close enough. Oh, wait, he actually picked up the banana before the back air, or did he pick it up during? During, but that was kind of yeah, okay. looking a little yeah. funky. Oh, there we go, the up smash. Still Not living. enough, though. Oh, look for it yet again. Okay, hold on. As he finishes his game, he's going to look for another up smash uh, just like that, because if he, if he whiffs, if up smash shit, he dies. Careful. Both players are in a dangerous situation right now. Basically, both in kill percent. There we go, down to the up smash. That is going to be enough. Aaron going up once again. Clutchness from Aaron. He's up 2-0 over Goblin right now. Yeah, I mean, like, and again, you know, I think I think when it comes down to this, I feel like Aaron has definitely been setting the pace. He just has to make sure he can close the, you know, close the, the game a little faster than he is. Because I feel like he's in the area where it looks like this could be a kind of a, a dominating game. And then, you know, the game starts to escape him. Goblin starts getting a couple hits, gives him about 70, and now it's a scary game for both sides. Very, very true. Got to be careful, especially with the kill power that Roy has. But once again on Hollow Bastion, Goblin electing, deciding that this stage was not the defining factor of the last game and comes right back here. And could be a, a matter of the previous game was fine enough that he could come back or the stages that Aaron banned were too pivotal for Roy to go anywhere else. Yeah. Okay. Unfortunate for him, though. Finally gets the opening and immediately lands that banana, so that ends up turning into Aaron's opening, who has got, yet again, another impressive percent lead. But how can he turn this into a stock? Yep. Got to be able to find out. Got to be able to translate into the stock, of course. Raw F smash coming through. That's an opportunity for Goblin to find a percentage. I like that little Z pick up to the Z drop, but the down tilt to up air is going to be enough. And Aaron up with a huge lead right now. This is looking great if he wants to be able to 3-0 Goblin. Yeah.
Great start here. Let's see what he can do to keep that up. Okay. Oh, oh Yo, no. Careful. Okay, you're real for that. You're real for that because I would have done the same thing. I love, I love trying to go for the double dunk. Yeah, you've got to watch out for the double dip there. Goblin able to find the grab, though. 80%. Maybe a jab to back at the ledge. Maybe a trump. Unfortunately, it's not going to sweep. The monkey is just too small. Ledge trap situation here. Goblin thinking about what he can do. Catches his jump. Now Aaron has to make his way back to stage once again. He's been stuck on this ledge for so long, but great punish. That's over 20%. Oh no, oh. do we not have our jump? Okay, we do. Okay, yeah, looking for it all yet again. I'm surprised. I thought I thought definitely thought he lost his jump, but no. Yeah, me too. Goblin with a very good recovery, able to save his jump, able to get back to the stage one more time. Mm-hmm. Uh oh. No, he's okay. He's tying down and away on that jab as well, so it does not confirm even remotely close. Mm -hmm. Okay, pick up the banana. We just we're playing catch once again. They're so ready to react to this banana, and there we go, the run up F tilt. 124. At least he didn't lose his second stock, though. Yeah, smart from Goblin, too, because you, you know Aaron was going to try to re-pick up that banana. He didn't want it to uh, disappear, so Goblin, seeing the opportunity, says, you know what? If you're going to do that, I'm going to be right there. And now Goblin finding some, some twos and fuse here. A little bit of damage, oh. but not enough. Lands on that platform. Another up smash uh, stock for Aaron. Yep. Puts the hands on him with that up smash. Great parry. Banana punch as well. Aaron waiting to react to find an optimal punish and gets so many up airs. I think four up airs after that. Nair, Nair, back air, of course. More damage here, and Goblin is beginning to lose sight. But here we go. Oh, I thought for maybe for a second we were going to get a big punish. Here we mm -hmm. go again. Oh, no, not quite. Jab to back is not going to do it, but he's out there with the forward air. Okay. Goblin just held forward and found the stock. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised, though, that like Goblin's uh, jab back airs have just not been connecting like that. He's been getting a lot of uh, sour spot back airs, unfortunately, for oh, him. No. But still, you know, he's willing to push the gamut a little further mm -hmm. and get that forward air going for him. And now we're in another situation where all the games have looked like so far. Goblin at kill percentage, having to fight back, oh. finding some good hits here. Wait. Oh, I love the little mix-ups there. The empty land into the down tilt. Finding some semblance of percent here. The B reverse to get out of disadvantage. Trying to escape Aaron right now, but Aaron's pressure is too great. He finds the down tilt. He finds the back air, and he finds the 3-0 over Goblin. There we go, bro. That is how you do it. And again, I mean, all those games going down to last stock, but it's been a lot of Aaron just really, really controlling the pace of when it gets to last stock and uh, how Goblin has to fight. Goblin pretty much on the back foot the entirety Damn. of that set, but still put up a good fight from the back foot. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, after watching game one, we saw how Goblin was able to find those early stocks. The thing was, though, Aaron simply 